Well, this certainly isn't the video I was expecting to make today. There's a tour event going on right now that I'm not playing in. I'm sitting right here. I just got a haircut. That's why I have no hat on. It's rare, I know. Um, I wanted to <clears throat> talk a little bit about uh, why I'm not playing in that and my plan with the tour series a little bit. Mainly because I feel like I'm stoked that some of you guys enjoyed it. Like, I know it's not like I'm getting the most views on YouTube, but it's definitely more than I thought. And, uh, you know, it's great. It's content I'm passionate about. It's a journey I'm passionate about. And I know it's a core group of you guys that are stuck into it. So I wanted to just share some updates. I had a really good session this week with my coach. And we just kind of chatted through a little bit. Um, I played in four tournaments in, like, essentially two weeks. And... You know, the results were okay. Shot an 80, a 77, a 78, a 77. And all four events, I felt like I was playing golf left-handed for all of, if not at least 50% of each event. I think the last 50% of the most recent event, I felt sort of tuned in on the back. I made one silly double. But, you know, I kind of felt like I had figured something out. But... I mean, you guys, if you watch the videos, you know, there were a couple where I, I really felt like I was playing golf left-handed. So, you know, our conversation just kind of went like, I, he keeps telling me I'm crazy that I'm trying to play in tournaments mid-swing change. He's not trying to talk me out of doing it. He's just like, I would never, ever, ever be trying to play, this is him speaking for himself, in a tournament in the middle of like a swing. It's not even just a swing change. It's like a swing rebuild. Everything's different. And that's why I do feel like I'm playing golf left-handed. Um... But there are a lot of positives that have come out of it. Like, I really feel like I've gotten my game to a place now where the worst I'm ever going to shoot is, like, a 77. <laughs> like, there and abouts. Like, I've had four rounds where I felt like I played as bad as I possibly could, and I broke 80 every time, except for one I shot 80. Like, it's, it's, it's not bad. That's not a bad um, floor to have. Like, as, lo like as, as bad as I can play, that's where I'm at. But I don't want to just go out again today and next Tuesday and whatever the next one is and shoot three more 77s. Like I've shot basically three 77s in a row. That's not what I want to be doing. I want to be shooting at or under par. And I know I can. I've done it before. But where the swings are right now, that's just, that's not what we're shooting. We're, we're not, we're missing shots. We're topping balls out of nowhere. We're doing things that are putting us behind the eight ball and not allowing us to compete at kind of like where I feel like my potential is. So we just kind of made like a group decision, him and I, to take a bit of time, not off competing, but just like, you know, I played in four tournaments in two weeks, so I don't need to play in eight tournaments in four weeks. <laughs> and just put a lot of focus back into the swing and just getting it to a point where it's like when I step over the ball, I feel like I, I know what to do and I'm not so mechanical like i'm i've come into golf from an athletic background of multiple sports and when things get too mechanical in my brain that's why i feel like i'm playing golf left-handed like i don't feel like i'm swinging a golf club i feel like it's like step one step two step three step four step five step yeah, rah, rah. and it gets so clunky and it's just not where i want to be but what we are working on the swing where we're getting close to is like a feel that is very just fluid and being able to actually just swing the golf club so basically what we decided on is like obviously you know at at some point i'm in the near future like in the next couple of weeks i'll go play another tournament and film it but i just want to take whether it be a week two weeks whatever and just focus on getting the swing to a point where it's like it's doing what we want it to do but it also feels like a golf swing you know so yeah, so that's kind of the update. I mean, I, I had said that I was going to play in all 16 events over 16 weeks. That was probably a little boisterous of me. Um, I don't think it's necessary, and I really just don't think it's beneficial. I think me going out there and just, again, feeling like I'm kind of playing golf left-handed. Like, I know I can scramble. I know I have a good short game. That's not that's not new information. I don't need to, like, practice that under tournament pressure. I also don't need to practice tournaments. Like, I... I I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because I played so much sports growing up, so many competitive sports. I do not get nervous in tournaments. I just don't. Like, I don't play worse in tournaments than I do IRL. Like, I've shot three 77s in a row in tournaments, 
every single round of casual golf I've played, I've been between 75 and 80. Like I'm not, I don't play any worse at all in tournament. If I'm at a point where I'm shooting in the seventies, I shoot or the low seventies, I shoot in the low seventies. I've had one tournament where I shot a 73 and that was at a time where I was shooting pretty consistently at or under par. So it's like, my game is my game. I don't, I don't feel like I need tournament pressure. I think maybe if the game ever got to a point where I was competing at like an even higher level, maybe that would change, but there's no point in me playing in tournaments just to play in tournaments. I want to play in tournaments to win. That's what I want. So that's the update. We're going to grind on it. Um, you know, I post a little bit on my Instagram story, um, of some swing stuff if you're interested in that but i'll, I'll be gonna come up with some creative ways hopefully to to document more of this journey than just the tournaments for you guys if you have any suggestions or things you'd want to see comment down below but ultimately that's not your job that's my job as a creator to figure out what you want to know what you want to watch before you even know you want to watch it so i'm gonna try and do that but anyway guys just a little update sit in the car chat video got my coffee i'm going to the range right now and we're gonna practice that's gonna be great love you guys bye